Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tear, where I've been featuring my personal top 3,000 songs on the rock era from 1954 to 1999. Today, I'm up to song number 2861, which is Every Day is a Winding Road by Cheryl Crow. Uh, this came out in 1996, I believe it just missed the top 10 and went to number 11. It was featured on her uh, uh, second album, second studio album, just entitled Cheryl Crow. And uh, um, anyway, I, I guess I'm first going to talk about Cheryl Crow's uh, history. She's had a pretty successful history, both as a, as a singer-songwriter and as an actress. Here's a picture of her. And uh, she, she, um, she got her start, I guess, in the early 90s. Her, her uh, first uh, um, big hit was All I Want to Do. That came out in 1994. I went to number two. Later that year, she had Strong Enough, which went to number five. 95, she had Can't Cry Anymore, which barely made the top 40, went to number 36. In 96, she had the one, uh, she had If It Makes You Happy, which uh, did go to number 10. And then the one I'm featuring today, Every Day is a Winding Road, which, as I said, just missed the top 10, went to number 11. In 1998, she had my favorite mistake. Um, I'm not sure what position I made it to. I didn't write that one down. Uh, and then she had a couple in the early 2000s. She had, um, in 2002, she had a song called Soak Up the Sun. Uh, and in 2003, she had the first cut as the deepest, which I believe was a remake of a song originally done by Rod Stewart. Anyway, those were her big hits. And, uh, and I like her as a singer. I mean, I'm not, I guess, one thing I should mention, um, uh, I, I hardly have any music from uh, from the 90s. Uh, and as you know, my uh, my list ends in 1999. Um, and uh, um, it's not completely random. That's another thing you guys should know. I, I picked this list personally. I made it myself. It took me several days to make the whole list. Uh, I know a lot of songs, like you can probably tell. Um, but it's hard to make a list that looks random, and we're be very bad judge of randomness anyway. I, I wrote, I made a math video about randomness, in case you're interested. Um, but uh, there's only 31 songs on my list from the 90s, and I, I happen to have three in a row here, which you might find a little strange, uh, since there's hardly any from the 90s, but... And I don't know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the reason I don't have very many songs from the 90s and I'm stopping my list in 1999, it's not because I really don't like the music after 1990. I mean, I did for a while. I, I, re I really started getting turned off of a lot of new music once, I guess, rap and uh, grunge rock became popular. And uh, I kind of stopped listening for a while. But I've heard a few songs, you know, over the years since then that I have liked. And I, I, you know, I don't, I'm not that familiar with all the music from all the, all the newer music. So I guess I'm not that good a judge of what's good anymore. Um, but I knew, I do know a few good musicians and a good songs I like from, from recent years. And I even consider nineties recent. And I guess I do like Cheryl Crow. I liked a few of the other songs I mentioned, including uh, Soak Up the Sun. I remember that when that was a big hit and I did really enjoy that one. I've also heard if it makes you happy, that's not a bad song. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to say one more thing about this song I'm featuring today. Every day is a winding road. The the main place I remember hearing, I think I first heard it in this movie. It was featured in the movie Phenomenon, which is a really excellent movie, by the way, starring John Travolta. Uh, I think it's one of his best. It actually reminds me a lot of a short story I read a long time ago called Flowers for Algernon about a a guy who becomes super intelligent. Kind of the same story, except in addition to becoming super intelligent, he also develops uh, telekinesis. Uh, excellent movie. And uh, I really highly recommend it. Um, and uh, anyway, I do remember the song in this movie. Uh, strangely enough, it wasn't featured on the soundtrack. I don't know why. But anyway, I do like the song uh, in part because of this movie. And I guess that completes my profile on Every Day is a Winding Road by Cheryl Crow. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. You guys rock, and I'll see you guys next time.